Chia, 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 check it out. Your boy Vada Fly, tell your mama I said hi. I got none other than Rare Breed Entertainment, ARP, the infamous, notorious leader. You know what I mean? What's up with you, man? Retired ARP? Listen, man, one of, one of the, the Hall of Fame bloggers. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's on the scene. I'm like three hours from here and I still had to hit the road. It's oh. Like, damn, man. It's, it's one of them guys. Man. Yo, I appreciate that. It's one of them guys, man. Thank you, so, brother. Thank you. You bought the leather, the leather joints. I brought them back out. <laughs> So you know we got to talk Max out, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of things to talk about. Yeah. I said I'd bring him out one more time, you know what I mean, just to have that conversation. Um, I would say this, you know what I'm saying, before we even start, you know what I'm saying, congratulations, you know what I'm saying, all Thank the things you. that you've accomplished, Thank you know what I'm saying, you in your retirement phase. This is actually a ploy to try to bring you back, but uh, oh, nah, nah, that, I didn't know this. this is, I didn't know that. I didn't this, know is, that. <laughs> this is the plot, you know what I'm saying, put it in, we're going to try it. But, uh, I but never I'm, script nothing, so I don't know what, what he's on. <laughs> Trust him, and I fuck with him, so I'm here. Like, right. I never script nothing out, nothing. He has no idea of anything, you know what I'm saying? But you know, he definitely uh, is obviously been known to you know run Red Breed Entertainment. You've been doing this for over ten years. Now you're in a transitional phase, and I got questions about that a little bit later. But you know what I'm saying? Um, how are things with you? Like, what's your day to day like now? Beautiful, man. Beautiful. It's, it's so funny when people ask the question like, "Oh, so you're talking this retirement shit? What are you gonna do now?" Mm -hmm. But for the whole, I would say like 12 years, 10 as a league owner, and then a few before that as a blogger, depending on when certain people got familiar with me, the whole 12 years I've always said battle rap is not and would never be my primary. Mm, I, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, I, I could have yeah. been one year in, two years in, five years in, or 10 years in and put it down mm -hmm. for six months, one year, to whatever I want to do. And I say that humbly because, you know, I got into battle rap as a passion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I love battle rap, and instead of just being a blogger and, and having my own ideas that I couldn't bring to fruition, mm -hmm. I stepped in. Mm -hmm. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, so that's really what it's always been. So, um, you know, there's a lot of new fans as well. Maybe didn't see every blog, see every interview, know more about my history. It's all good. Right. So, you know, when people be like, oh, you're retired, you know, what's he going to do now? I've never done battle rap full time, mm. you know, which is a blessing to me, you know. Right. And then obviously, you, you got a lot of people that just always live where it's like multiple streams of income, multiple things you could dip your hands into and all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I've always been that type of person. So my day to day pretty much hasn't changed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, is there ever days you're like, you know, it crosses your mind, or you just you're completely, totally good with where you're at right now? I'm, I'm so, I'm so good, and and it's because it wasn't a cold turkey thing. I think because I had so much investment in battle rap, in the legacy of battle rap, in the history of battle rap, in rare beat entertainment, in our followers, in our supporters, in our worldwide fan base, in our channel, in the battlers, the bloggers, the media, everybody that fucks with us and grew to know us over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I could have never gone cold turkey from that. Right. I could have never just woke up one morning and said, you know what, I'm out. Mm -hmm. Or oh, Max Out 3 just made $5 billion, I'm out. I'm running off with, the, with my bag, right. take my ball and I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I could have never did that because, you know, like I got in it for passion, I stayed in it for passion, and I ended it, in a, I, I, took, I removed myself in the capacity I removed myself from, knowing that my time is on the way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, so is, is is Rare Breed Entertainment still a league now? And who's in charge? If you if you're not there, then who's yeah. in charge? So, so I think that's a good question. <laughs> that's the I was like, like I like no, yeah, I like the way you work. <laughs> oh, I said because you said because you said who's in charge. Yeah, like who's that. in charge? You know what I'm saying? I like the way you work. You hire me. I can move that. I like, I like the way what you I like the way you work. Wait, I left the keys too. I like, I like the way you work. <laughs> right. It just crossed my mind. Well, per, first thing, first thing of that to make sure that I say is something that I've been saying for ten years, mm -hmm. which is very good entertainment has always been a platform. Mm -hmm. Okay, I never call ourselves a league. I feel like there's only been certain times and certain situations where any of these companies have actually moved fully like a league. Mm. Sometimes for legality, sometimes for positioning and, and political reasons, whether it's good for that business or not. Mm -hmm. But a majority of what we know about rap, these companies don't function as leagues. Like, I think if you really think about what a league is mm -hmm. and then you look at battle rap, 
you're not going to see the, that really as consistent. Right, 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 right. And then on top of that, our mantra was always develop our own personality, make sure we have a lane for ourselves, mm -hmm. but make sure that we entertain the fans. So mm -hmm. it was more my interest to present a platform mm -hmm. than something that's locked into a league. Like even these companies, like newer platforms that come out, they come up with a name where league is in the name. Mm -hmm. I always look at that like, Y'all should be careful because if you ever expand, this stuff, yeah, yeah, or when you got like battle rap in your name, ah, in your company, right, 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 right. like you got to be careful. You got to give yourself room to, you know, right. grow and, and and you know what I'm saying. So that's 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 number one. Number two, I am the owner of Rarebit Entertainment, mm -hmm. so I will always be in charge, ah. right? Mm -hmm. But that's not to be confused with other people that function within Rarebit Entertainment, mm -hmm. where you give them the space to be a boss or to make their moves or to make their decisions. Well, you know what I'm saying? You delegate power in certain areas. Mm -hmm. So that's not to be confused, but if something ever needs to be decided upon, if I ever felt like, man, this is something that I really want to involve myself in, mm -hmm. I would. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I'm over here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, you're not always going to walk into some of these franchises or these companies and the owners making every decision. Correct. They be having a board, they have partners, they have co-owners, all that type of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not some big guy that's got my hand in everything. Right. I don't want to have my hand in everything. As a company, it's not going anywhere. I don't need to liquidate it. I don't need to sell it. I'm not impressed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So whatever RBE continues to provide over the years, some of those decisions I'll be involved, and be involved in and some alone. That's all. As a fan, of battle rap. Let's yeah. remove. We, 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 I want to remove AR Adam from ARP. Let's just remove you and make you a fan of Red Breed Entertainment. For right? sure. For sure. You know, let's look at it from that perspective. For sure. The year that you had in 2023 was not a regular year, right? I mean, by 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 this, by pompous circumstance, you guys have grown year after year after year. But what I'm saying is to have a year where you clearly separate yourself from every other league. That was 2023, right? Okay. Because in other years it's been here, there, this person, this person, URL, whatever. Everybody's had their positioning, right? But this was that year where, quote unquote, made it over the hump. Voted as the league of the year on a bunch of different platforms. Everybody was league, league, league of the year. It was kind of unanimous in that regard, right? Um, what would you think if you're a fan of seeing that happen and then there was never another event again? What would you think? You screwed up when you said never another event. Okay, a pay per view event, pay per view event. That, that, you know what I'm saying? You got full circle pay per view event. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm that, that that that's another that's another thing that right. I think um, is worth clearing up as well. Mm -hmm. I'm not booking a pay per view event. Oh, uh, see, see, see. Did, did, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's I'm good. not. That, that. I'm not. Actually, I, I, actually, July twentieth, RBE versus Battle Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, mutual hostility. Shout out to Stiz and Battle Academy. Shout out to Lawrence and Wayne. Mm -hmm. They're running a pay per view event. Oh yeah, that's you know, true. I don't, I don't, I, I, it's not. It's not me that's mm -hmm. running it. I didn't put it together. I didn't choose the matchups. I didn't orchestrate it. I'm not working that situation. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of work to play league owner to put all that together. And I want to salute them for putting all that together. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's a pay per view event. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So. There's this clarity right there, not only just my, my talking, it's actually right there for everybody. Right. Go to rarebreedent.com right now and buy your pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might as well, yeah, shout you know out to saying? the British shout out to, yeah. So that's a clear, a clear cut fact that's showing like, I'm not doing a pay-per-view. Mm -hmm. And I think also the expectation um, for me doing a pay-per-view Fans have a certain expectation, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm cool with that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've had situations where um, I cross certain barriers mm -hmm. and I watch the fans not let me go backwards. Right. Where it's just like, yo, what you doing with validation? You just did Pearly Gates, beat it. Mm -hmm. Give us that last shit, right. that last work. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, what I, 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 I get it, I right. get it. And um, even time wise, investment wise, personal energy wise, I would be on the same type of time with the mm -hmm. fans. Like, if I was doing a pay-per-view event, which I'm not, mm -hmm. there would be that. Mm -hmm. There would be a max out for right, or right. whatever. But I want to be clear that, um, you know, other people that are functioning within the RBE and have their own lanes to be bosses mm -hmm. and make decisions, mm -hmm. you know, they have that green light for me. Mm -hmm. So if they want to go pick up Mookin and Hitman, <laughs> And then call my line and be like, yo, AR, can we can we 
borrow the um the name Max out real quick for this. Yeah. I'm gonna say Green Light. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got asked oh. about spaces by um by some um by some people. I jumped into one of Wayne's spaces or somebody, it might have been a brick spaces. Mm -hmm. But I jumped in real quick and somebody asked me, it was like, yo, can we do a blue room? Mm -hmm. And I said, listen, I'm not saying no to that. I just whatever wants to be approached for a blue room gotta be special. Mm -hmm. You can't just be random Monday night battles on, on the Yeah, it's got it's gotta be special because of the reputation of the blue room. Correct. So if there's people that are within RBE that put something together, put a pay-per-view to it and be like, yo, this is blue room worthy, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say green light check. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So so that's 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 I think that's something that was worth I appreciate you asking that question. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, some of these details haven't really gone all the way around yet, so it's all good. I mean Full circle, what's the inspiration? Full circle, um, the funny thing is when we came back outside with full circle, it wasn't called full circle. It was mm. called straight to it. Straight to it, yeah. Full circle. Mm. Now if you go back a couple years, what the straight to it series was, <clears throat> it was something where um we took a bunch of mashups and we just went straight to YouTube. Mm. We didn't we didn't go crazy. Yeah, I remember that, I remember that, I remember that. Yeah, drop them, drop them, drop them. Yeah, we, we did like three or four of those events back to back. That's where you get like Jay Mills versus Jay Murder. Mm. Jay Murder. Jay Mills versus Big K. It was just Reed Dollars versus um uh Ill Will. Ill Will, Ill Will versus Rosenberg Roll. I remember those. Uh A Ward versus QB. Definitely remember that. Uh A Ward versus uh uh Reed Dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, E Ness versus Remy Loco, I yeah, think. Yeah, Remy Loco was pretty good. I remember that Remy um, Loco. E, Remy, e Ness was pretty good in that battle. Yeah, I remember. We brought, that. We brought Bones Brigante back to RBE. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we do in there? We did a lot. Oh, we did a lot of joints, a lot of bricks. Mm -hmm. Got looks in there. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, the whole concept was just straight to YouTube. So, you know, given that I was just like, yo, I'm just do my one-off thing, mm -hmm. just to satisfy the fan base that I could, number mm -hmm. one, satisfy my own fanship, number two, right. number three, fuck with the people that I fuck with and still give them plates. Mm -hmm. Those three reasons, I came back with straight to it. But the full circle in the production of it was so strong that that kind of pushed over straight to it. So me not having an ego, mm -hmm. I dropped it straight to it. Uh, and said, Alvo, you got it. It's, it's, it's going to be called Full Circle because that's what's, that's what's catching mm -hmm. and that's what's being represented by the production. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's really the concept of it. And those are the three reasons why people get Full Circle values. Do you, uh... We got some coming up a couple, like... Right, couple right, right. Now. I would ask you, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but what I was going to ask was, yeah. um, just in correspondence to it, I've seen you've done them, they had them in L.A. I think you have done some here. Probably no. Um, we're considering um, some 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 different locations. I'm considering on um, PA. What makes you choose? How do you choose the location? Because it's not something that's being sold. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the market. Mm -hmm. I don't care about the location when it pertains to a market or trying to sell something. It's like like oh, if I go to New York, there's a big battle rap fan base there to sell something to. I'm not trying to sell something. Mm -hmm. The location is just purely based on the production or what makes sense based on who's being booked. And you're right, because when we was in LA, literally, everybody just walked out, they walked in the door, there was nobody standing there, there was no tickets collecting, with nothing. Yeah, everybody yeah, just walked, it was literally yeah, that's, that's a, it, free, that's a, a little free. And, and, I, and honestly, you say that on camera, let me let me clean something up. <laughs> Avo knows that I got code signs and all that. Yeah. Our security guard canceled on us like 30 minutes before the event. Oh, I walked out, I said, man, we on Slauson, and ain't nobody yeah, at yeah, the door. Yeah, yeah. I was like, yo, yo I'm clear about I said, it. Because motherfuckers are up, will fuck around they try and show up to hunt, down, <laughs> hunt down the address of Full Circle and be like, Bro, I'm just saying, it was nobody they just there. walking in, yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 well, yeah. I, 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 was, I didn't like that, obviously, <laughs> because I try to keep things, you know, yeah, professional, professional right. and everything, but it was like, literally, like, we had nothing that we could do, it was like 30 minutes before, so I was like, well, thank God it's not an event, it's not for sale, right, we're not right, checking right. door tickets and all that type of shit. It was literally, it was like, private still, so, and that's another reason, it was really, really on the flies and nothing so and that's what I will say even though it was literally on Crenshaw and Slauson it was like <laughs> super hood but it was literally just us there did the yeah. thing came outside and everybody bounced it wasn't really no thing yeah, location is specific to uh, the production even the first joint that we did that was rooftop 
You know, that was, oh. that was pure, that was pure avocado. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't know that during COVID when we was getting some of those rooftop battles, um, it was a different location. And I can say this now because he's not there anymore, but that was our little spot. Mm. So, you know, him having, him being the, the lead production person in battle rap and cameraman, right. you know what I'm saying? And director in battle rap and having a spot you know, and then things that was already going on in Cali, right. it just all lined up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when we started the full circle thing, like I was just like, yo, I wanna, I was like, yo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you got you got to give people like Avo their space. Same way I do within RBE, I'm consistent. You got to give certain people uh, their space to grow or have to be creative, give them space to succeed, give them space to fail, all of that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got to give people their space. So okay. I, that's how much I respect Avo. You feel like you've done enough in battle rap and in rap in general? Uh, for me, yes. For me. Mm -hmm. For me, absolutely. Um, that's one of the reasons why you know, I, I turned up the stove a little bit more in 2023 mm -hmm. to satisfy some of my own feelings towards, I right, well, you know, you're not gonna be here too much longer in that capacity. Mm -hmm. So along with that, there's even battles that I wanted to get done, like Hitman and Ill Will, which is my last main event, mm -hmm. and gets voted battle of the year and all that. That's a battle that was in the talks for like four years. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So being able to check off certain boxes, like even like getting Rosenberg, like, you know, a big opponent that year, he, that was his first million view battle ever with Clips. Mm, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Close the loop, something that was like three years in the making with people like Show Off and Head Ice. Mm -hmm. You know, Lawrence and Wayne got more bricks in there. Right. People that I was pulling out of, you know, away from Lawrence and Wayne for a second, getting them more looks. You saw Remedy Logo in the blue, blue room. You saw Caution in the blue room. Jay you saw Pain in the Zay, blue room. Yeah. Jay Bree, you saw Zay, Cino you saw Sino Savvy. Yeah. You saw Pain, I said Pain already out there. You saw, yeah. you, saw you know what I'm saying? So there was so much like check boxes just getting marked off, um, mm -hmm. you know, in 2023. So for me, I definitely am satisfied with everything that I had an opportunity to, to do uh, while running RBE as a platform. Correct. All right, so um, you spoke about some new guys, and I want to stay on surface level because I know how you know people take things and everybody wants this literal thing. So yeah. how do you respond to some of the discontention that's been going on, like the, the newer guys, like, oh, if I would have knew this shit and if I would have did this, and everybody's got their own reasoning, for however they're at, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, Cause it's like everything is great until it ain't, and then it's like you never did anything for anyone, you know what I mean? So Man. how do you deal with you just said so <laughs> like why would I answer it after you just said oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> kinda of the answer, you know what why, I mean? Why like if you're gonna say that, yeah. that's what you believe as I do believe typical that. battle rap truth. I do why should I even answer no no I got it. <laughs> I do because, believe because that. Really, I do believe that. I mean nah but but for real shit. Um dissension disdain, mm -hmm. uh, all of the above. Um, the same way, you know, when the retirement stuff really, really landed, mm -hmm. um, people heard me address it like in March a couple times, which you know, I, I started talking more. Mm -hmm. Cause I was off the channel between December and March. Right, you did take that. Yeah, I was, I was off the channel, I had no interviews, I was barely on Twitter, not everything, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't even think I was on Twitter at all. But, um. You know, I gotta take both sides. Mm. You know, the same way I got a lot of appreciation and praise and it kept me humble as shit. Mm. Yo, man, like what you did, congratulations, enjoy your retirement, 10 years, you mm. did so much about all of that. The same way I accept that. You gotta accept. Yeah, I gotta accept the other side too. Everybody where, where, where there's gonna be people that, you know, there's more that they felt like they could have gotten mm -hmm. if I'm still there. Or maybe they feel like they lose something. Or, or maybe they feel like, you know, maybe they think I still owe, owe them more. Or right, older, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you're going to get all of that. And, and I, I've been prepared for that. Mm -hmm. um, I think like 95% of the people that I deal with um, have given me the prior mention. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The accolades, the appreciation. Right. Like, the, the type of phone calls that I got, man, like, I shout out people like, like that I have that I fuck with past battle rap. And I could count on two, damn it. Maybe three hands, um, but it's, it's, it's a small percentage right. of people I fuck with past battle rap. Mm -hmm. Like I remember, like people like Sway when Sway called me, mm -hmm. 
And he was like, yo, I just want to let you know, man, you know, whether you come back or not, man, like, thank you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, like this, I, it, was, it was like, it's calls like that. The, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Versus later on when maybe certain people are disgruntled that like, you know, like, damn, I might be losing something. Mm -hmm. You know, like I'm gonna take I'm gonna take both sides of of, of that type of vibe energy. So Correct. it's all good. I mean, it's all good. Oh yeah. Well, that, I mean, that's good. Uh, <clears throat> well, I was you spoke about the Blue Room originally. Yeah. Um, you you guys literally turned something that was just a lighting into an aura. You know what I mean? It yeah. became the room in battle rap where everyone has to rap. You know what I mean? It was like. We became almost like a little rucker. Like you don't want to fuck about. You don't want to look crazy there. Yeah. How 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 did it get there? And when did you know that that was going to be a thing? You know what I mean? Um. After the first blue room. And and by the way, the rucker thing. And I, you know, I say stuff like this only because um. You know, sometimes there's new fans. There's some. Sometimes there's forgetful people. My memory has always been kind of decent about. Right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> My memory's always been kind of decent. Uh -huh. But the Rucker is something that um, I coined for Battle Rap, mm -hmm. for RVD Battle Rap, mm -hmm. or platform. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why I coined it is because um, it was kind of like a little of a, uh, like uh, one of our models mm -hmm. to say like when people come through our platform, mm -hmm. they show up. Because people tended to give RVD the reputation of having some of the better battle turnouts. Right, right, better right, turnouts, yeah. right? So, you know, at certain levels of what people perceive, because it's all smoke and mirrors. I think we continue to see that. I he like some of your recent blogs. Right, right, right. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> but, but the perception, right. you know, would be that, you know, something is so much different, mm -hmm. right, in terms of the capabilities, mm -hmm. right? And I'll be like, okay, well then, let me create a deviation of like how things are actually turning out. Right. And what people are actually seeing the outcome of, okay. because you know, I might I might cut on a certain game in a certain field, and the niggas might be on a on a bench with a with a, with a tweaked ankle. Right. The rocket, they're not home for that. No. Nah. When Kobe come through there, when yeah, AI right. come through there, yeah, when right. KD come through there, like you come through That's the show. Sure. Sure. Or, or you might not even walk out. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. care if you Kobe, like yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't stone on the way out. out. Yeah, nobody comes hurt to you watch it. You, know, you gotta come and you play yeah. or you ain't even showing up. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was a theme. It was a theme and a motto, and it was kind of trying to support and even put the reputation not just on RVE, but also on the battles that continue to come. Uh, like, yo, remember, the fans, you might have went over there and freestyle, and you come here, the fans yeah, have yeah. a different, you know what I'm saying? So we did that tactically as well as it was the outcome of, of what we were doing. And then, um, on top of that, like it's me and footage. Like, like you watch Hitman vs. Bill Collector as they're going off in there. We, you know, enough battle rap. We right. feel like, yo, this might be a classic. This might be a classic, yeah. I'm on the microphone saying they come to the ruck of the ball. They oh, come to the ruck of the ball. Oh. I say it in a lot of battles on the microphone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Saying that once again, when it's time to really, really pull the moves out and all yeah, that yeah. shit that the refs over there might be calling a carry on. Mm. Nah, we gonna wow the crowd over here with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So like I'm saying, so I'm the one that coined that. Mm -hmm. All right. But as far as the um the blue room, I remember Surf matter of fact, free search out sir. I remember Surf tried to take that from us at one point. Mm -hmm. I remember he was tweeting some shit when he had midnight madness on. He was like, "This is the new Rucker." Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Y'all yeah, had some. Y'all had some legendary. Definitely. Y'all definitely some legendary. Super, legendary. super entertaining. One of my top ones was when he said you were. He would, you would pay him, he would come to the event, spit on the floor. And spit on the floor, yeah. It was and behind the scenes, it would be like like me and Easy, or like me and Stiz, like yucking it up. You know what I'm saying? Like off camera, like that was me and Sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. But he's an entertainer, man. But, uh, no, yeah. no, 100 was 100 percent. And, and I've been on a, on a spree for like the last two months. It's just one of my personal gripes about people breaking the fourth wall, if you know that terminology in Hollywood. Hollywood is about looking into the camera, mm -hmm. which is telling people like, oh, this is actually a movie, instead of letting them get in, entrapped right, right, in right. the moment and be taken away, like, oh, I don't know what's real or what's fake, mm -hmm. until you walk out the theater, right? Like, being in the entertainment. So I've been saying, 
we got to stop saying promotion. Like, don't hop on an interview and say, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Right, right, right. I'm right. just here just to promote. Make it work. Yeah, know? let the fans figure out. Make if it work. When I got on camera and I said, yo, your league is lame, let them figure let out how me to get out. Right. And then it's going to create the grudge and the energy. It takes That's time. why, that's why. And you I, do good at that because I've seen you put blogs like, ARP addresses by the fly. And you ain't even going to, but people's going to watch that because they want to see yeah. what the point is. And I might have made a wrong pull, but who knows? I just kicked off the RDE and Battle Academy shit like that. You did. To the point where niggas did an emergency fucking uh, group uh, live. The Zoom jump? Yeah, Frank with the grippers and Young Ken got on there throwing threats and shit. The threat threats? Yeah, like, like. No, like threat niggas, threats. I mean, I mean, I don't really, really believe that niggas really, really felt that deep. It was that bad. But I think that they want to defend their honor because of my blog. Uh-huh. But the point that I'm trying to I'm trying to say is like, let the fans figure out. Like I might have fucked y'all up. Like even y'all may have been like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that's the point of like good promotion. Like to this day, people don't know if Hitman versus Surf Scuffle was real or not. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people don't. Right. You could guess. Right. But it's, it's, it's never came out. Like I, like think about it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So anyway. But uh, before I before we get thing. into well, yeah, so I want to get I was talking about Max out, but I want to ask you something else real quick as far did as Did I answer the blue room thing for you though? Yeah you did, you did, you did. You said that, uh, that the blue room became a thing, you know what I'm saying? People yeah. started rapping there, you know what I'm saying? It became a rocker thing. People had to whether it was coined that or whatever how, how you coined yeah. it, yeah. it became something that became a staple and people started rapping there, bringing their A game, and then it became a But thing. even before the blue room. Just the scenery in general, RBE. Yeah, there you go. Like that, I think that was the reputation that we were carrying for years. Like, you know, we want to have high quality battles, matchups, events. We don't rush things. I know there's times we can get at us, but then like, you only did five events that year. Mm-hmm. And you're like, okay, but you know, we're doing our best to also pr- provide the quality. And also, these people don't do it full time. Mm-hmm. This is like. You know, passion of them still dipping into their own personal lives and personal pockets mm-hmm. to do this RVE thing. You know what I'm saying? Like right. we, we we haven't been sponsored. Like ever. Not, I'm I'm the sponsor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like. You probably got enough stories. But, oh, but when it comes and then obviously of course Lawrence and Wing they do their thing too. Mm-hmm. But when you see a max out one and two, like when when we book max out and people just like yo, what does his name mean? Does it mean that ARP max yeah, out his credit card? Right. When Cassidy and Hitman get those deposits, that comes from my pocket. I don't call anybody and ask like, can you front me? Mm. I don't call anybody and say like, yo, can you help no me? Partner, no nothing. I mean, nah, like it's it's, 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 it's it's me saying like, I right, Cassidy here, we, we negotiated. Here's your money, Hitman. Here's your money. Sure. That, not, no, that, that, that's, that's, that's not the stunt. The reason why I'm saying that is because I feel like, I feel like in, in certain lanes of business, that could be beneficial. Mm-hmm. I mean, point being, I feel like it can be a benefit at times because you don't have to go through multiple channels to get a yes or a no. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like if I believe in something, it's done, it's done. period. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, people, could look at that as a pro and a con. I think for us, it's been a pro many, 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 many times. You ever took a loss on a max out? Max out? Mm-hmm. That was a trick question. <laughs> I, 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 I know what you well, tried to do. I'm, ju- I'm just here, man. I think I, just, I, think I know what I'm, <laughs> I'm just, did you max out? Have you ever maxed this, this, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to give you the realest answer possible. Watch yeah. this. Watch this. Watch this. Yeah. I'm gonna, and I'm going to be so honest. But, yeah. but I think I, I think I know what you just did. Right. Yeah. So let me give you my answer. Uh-huh. Max Out One mm-hmm. uh, hosted one of the biggest pay-per-views mm-hmm. and main events in battle rap history. Mm. Yeah. Cassidy vs. Hitman. That was big. Love it or hate it. It's one of the biggest main events in battle rap history. That was big. And the pay-per-view from a lot of things that I've picked up on over the years, mm-hmm. it's among the highest. It, I don't know, it's among yeah. the highest of all time. All right, Max Out Three mm-hmm. was stupid. It was so, it was so stupid yeah. that I have evidence uh-huh. in my possession of losing a lot of money to bootlegs Ooh. and on specific out, and that's just. But I have evidence of mind you, the shit I don't even know of. Right, right. Yet it's still crushed. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Huh? It's still crushed 
won? No, no, no. I'm oh. saying it's still crushed just as it's far just as exactly it's just crushed. It's just Did I tell you that uh, Max Out 1 was the reason why we got on television? Oh, what? Yeah, Max Out 1. It That's was really crazy. the flip of Max Out 1. That's so crazy. I'll tell you real quick, right? Because this is actually your interview, not mine. But here you go. So um, Max Out 1 happens, right? And I was living in South Carolina at the time. SP was still in Philly. We was doing these blogs where he'll send he'll send me his half, I'll send him his half, I'll put them together, whatever. We had to make it work, right? Yeah. So I was down there for like six months working and um I had watched the Hitman versus Cassidy, right? Obviously, you know, we the blogging and shit. So I watched it and I went live afterwards, because my lives always had a bunch of people in them. So the the producer, you know, be he was in those comments and he wrote specifically Cassidy won because Hitman said he was going to kill him. So if he didn't kill him, that means Cassidy won. And I read that comment because it was like an epiphany. I was like, he might. I don't know who this guy is because it didn't say, you know, it's not going to say his title. It's just a you know, that username. So a couple of days later, I got an email. And he was like, yo, I was at the crib. I was watching you live. I'm the producer. Do, 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 do. My wife was like, why are you so excited? Because I'm replying to his comment. He was like, yo, I'd love to bring you up. And that's how it all got started off of Max. That's so Max, Max out has helped people. <laughs> that's dope, man. And, sh and, sh and shout out to B, man. Yeah, that's, Max, that's, that's somebody that, that I can count story. on them, them few hands that I fuck with past Battle Rap. Shout out to B. Um, I'll give you some quick behind the scenes about that. And I mean, it sucks if you're in Hitman's shoes going through all the, you know, the, the talk and people getting at you and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But um, that was actually a promotional check. And I can speak about this now, number one, because it's over. Number two, because them's both my niggas, Cassidy and Hitman, mm -hmm. right? So when we did, um, when we uh, recorded uh, the trailer mm -hmm. release, me and Hitman, like that, that part of that was like my idea. Mm -hmm. like, I was like, all right, we're about to close this out. Say something crazy. Mm -hmm. and he, I think he, he might have said it, or if he did it, I just remember we got to a point where I made him repeat it like a second or a third time. Mm. And he brings the camera close and he's like, I'm gonna make sure Cassidy never get booked. Yeah, that was crazy. Right? And, was and, crazy. and what's so crazy is fast forward, you saying that type of shit would yeah. be in the comments. It's, yep. People from a promotion, from outside looking in, fans or people just consuming a the promotion, mm -hmm. they took that so literal. Mm -hmm. This Cassidy, Cassidy can get booked. Yeah, whenever, yeah. Yeah, because Cassidy, he's going to be a draw no matter what. Yeah. Hate him or love him, always going to be a draw. Be a draw. Right? But that piece of promotion, which was, and what was I just saying before? Like, don't tell the fans. Yeah, don't. Let them, let them figure it out. Yeah. It was, it was genius, so though. They hung Hitman to the with something so line. literal that shit is supposed to be part of the uh, Like, you know what I'm saying? We, like, we, we hold sure Hitman to this high again. standard that if he's like, if he doesn't get booked again, we're going in there with that thought process. And regardless of how people may feel about the battle, yeah. that battle. Did a lot for him. It did a lot for me. It changed my life. <laughs> it changed. I don't know about you. It did a lot for me. You know what I'm saying? But um, but but Cassidy was also able to capitalize on that too. So Hitman capitalized on it before the face off because Cassidy was such a a huge underdog. A huge. Yeah. Right. And then he got a little bit of energy back when people started saying, "What what what size room is it gonna be in?" Because mm. we didn't announce that. Yeah. Right. We were still fishing for the venue actually. You know what I'm saying? And then by the face off, you know, tables turned a little bit mm -hmm. and then they wanted to see Cassidy have way more of a fight against somebody that they felt was like in a big room. It's just like, this is Hitman's world. Mm -hmm. So all of that, you know, never get booked again. All of that just led into the promotion. It's just all a piece of it, man. Just lightning in a bottle situation. But like you said, you know, it, it, that that card did produce a lot of other dope battles on there. You had the Will versus A Ward. You had Gold yeah. getting his first shot on the Max Out versus Big K. I know it was like last minute, yeah, shot but that was home. a pretty good card. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I want to fast forward to um, Max Out three. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It's the anniversary coming up pretty soon. How you feel about that? It's dope to even have something that people call an anniversary that's already been... I never even looked at that before until you just said it just now. Yeah, it's coming soon. Next As time I, was, I swear to God, I never thought about that until you... Because you retired, man. I'm in here every day. <laughs> so I, see it I on never thought about that. Because when I hear anniversary, I tend to think about um, a series of an event. Like, yo, we're about to do this again. Mm -hmm. Or like, think of like Chrome, the anniversary right, 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 You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. I never would think about something that's already, already happening. Happened. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not happening again, as right. far as what I'm saying. Right. 
and people are still putting it as an anniversary. That just means like, damn, Max, that was three was one of them ones. Yeah, it was a special moment. That's dope. Um, That's dope that she just said that. I want to start with, uh, <laughs> I mean, the rollout itself, you know what I'm saying, was, yeah. was, was great because what you did was what a lot of leagues don't do. They get the people who feel like, you know, the most important people and they make sure that they know what's released. The next one's coming out. So you had like a trailer release, then five blocks, like ten minutes later, like bang, 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 bang. And then the next release, bang, 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 bang. And it just kept being every day. Even the order of the, of the rollout. Yeah, even the order of the rollout. Like, tell, talk about that. Like, how did that come about? Because that's where I want to go. Yeah, the order, I mean, 99% of the time, we're always going to do the main event first. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, you put Hitman and Will out there, you get such a, a positive, a great response to it. And it's just like, wow, these guys still, they just won't stop in 2023. Right. You know and then um, after that, we turn around and it was like, this right here is going to be like game over as far as people just saying, oh shit. Right. Because everybody was asking for either Verb versus Swamp or Verb versus a mm -hmm. Right. So then when you turn around, you announce the verb and a -word. at that time, right. he was just like, oh shit, mm. right? And then tactically, we didn't want to jump off of the, the St. Louis track right. because yeah. that nostalgia was there for to be built into the promo and the card construction as well. Yeah, same so it's just like, all right, now let's do Big K versus Young Hill, mm -hmm. which is a dope battle. Mm -hmm. You get the three, the three St. Louis in a row. You get Young Ill being promoted as a return. Right. You get Big K being promoted as he's on this possible right. champion of the year. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So then you do that, and they're just like, yo, these motherfuckers is tripping. Mm -hmm. And then we announce a battle that people feel could have been a main event, a co-main event, mm -hmm. on any platform, on any given card. And then the battles kept continuing. Oh yeah, I'm listening. <laughs> so that so, so by the time you you like you do the Big K and the Young Ill, and then we say. We got something called Calico vs. Goods for y'all. They said, nah, nah, what? nah, y'all yeah, got crazy. way, yeah, way, yeah, way too crazy. much. Yeah. Way, 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 way too much. And then after that, you get um Show Up vs. Head Ice. Mm -hmm. Liked it. Yeah, let's let's bring that. You get, um, uh, who is it, QB vs. QB vs. Um, RX. RX. Mm -hmm. We had the ladies, so we had the ladies on there. You had yeah. QB on there, which is one of my, one of my people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, it just keeps going still. You get XL versus Def the Kid. You get Ceno Savage versus Zay. You get J K. You know what I'm saying? You no just, bad guys. Um, Jay Breed and K Venom. You get XL and um. It was Def I, I said XL and Def, but you got. I think uh, was Riggs. Riggs. Was Riggs. Riggs. Riggs, Riggs, Riggs that was the one before. Uh, the one before. Uh, he was on the um the one joint. Riggs beat uh. I just remember standing in the crowd before while while Wayne Delon was the battle. Yeah. Slash. Yeah, and I just remember being in the crowd listening to XL versus um, Def the Kid. And I was standing around you. I think you was, no, SP was there. SP, Chris Umbias, mm -hmm. um, was it Temp? Might have been Temp. Mm -hmm. uh, I was standing around a bunch of bloggers. And I said, yo, XL versus Def the Kid is better than John John versus T Top. Mm -hmm. Right, that's why I said. Because mm -hmm. remember, it was. Those cars was like supposedly supposed to be rival each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So be I was still driving home that that rivalry. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, I was just like, we just watched that card. You had a mega match like T Top versus John John, and it didn't pan. Mm -hmm. And here we are, not even we didn't even get the big out the water matchups to start on the, the card yet on the stream the, the yet. Right. And we get to XL and, and Death the Kid, and this is looking incredible. Yeah. So that's why I was just like, it's, it might be that type of night, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So it was dope. And then, uh, you know, <laughs> the, the battle uh, that kind of- Shout out to John John T-Top too. That was just a, um, a card thing. The battle that kind of became the main event led the promotion, you know what I mean? Got the talks going. It's none other than a verb versus a word. You know what I mean? Can I can I can I say this real quick too before I can go there? Because you got me in max out mode now. Right. I'm trying to get it for. Right. <laughs> That's what we're here for. <laughs> and it's crazy because we just ran down like that. Yeah. And then they these niggas had the nerve to promote a surprise battle. Um, we're all over, you know what I mean? With yeah. a goat. With two goals. You can you know say who's wait, who's awesome on the magic. Oh yeah, that came some out of nowhere. Some of y'all voted performer tonight, battle that tonight. Was definitely oh, be magic. Yeah, as a matter of fact, awesome on B magic. Cause you're about to talk about Verb and, and A Ward. Mm -hmm.
people fuck with Arsenal v Magic so much. If you're on YouTube right now, Arsenal versus B Magic has A Bird versus A Water views. What? Yeah. Get the, yeah. Get the and, fuck and, out. And it dropped after because A Ward and A Bird was the second release. It, not only did it drop after, but it caught up and passed it. <sighs> I'll tell you. What? I'll tell you. So that's how stupid Max Out 3 is. <laughs> what? I just wanted to throw that out there because he was about to talk about A Bird versus A Ward. I definitely was. Okay. That's how that. stupid that battle is. I mean, that caught it. Wow. I didn't even know that they did that. Yeah. yeah. That did. Wow. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how do you feel when you have like so you have a battle that's promoted every day the way Skip promotes LeBron every single day, and then this happens? Like, how does that how does that happen? I mean, you don't get mad at that if you're my shoes. You right. you, you enjoy that. You're just like yo, the fans speak, mm -hmm. the culture speaks. You know, I think um some people gave me Magic performer tonight, Aver, and Ill Will were the ones that got voted. Yeah. I thought right. It was, uh, who said what? Um, Verb was one, I had Ill Will, and um, Froze had Magic, I think. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I mean, the surprise battle, people could argue as a battle of the night contender. Yeah. With a performer of the night contender. That's true. And that was a surprise, you know what I'm saying? So, it was just a lot going on. And, the, and once again, that battle, it has two nostalgic pieces there. Mm -hmm. You bring the fourth, St. Louis King. Yep. And then I saw this on Twitter. I was just like, oh shit, I didn't even know this going in. It's the first time since the Lions then where you had Arsenal, Goods, mm -hmm. and I think Head Ice and maybe somebody else. Definitely those three on the same card at the same time. Mm -hmm. Right? These Lions then guys. Right. So it's like all these pockets of nostalgia and shit mm -hmm. that's just made this shit so epic, man. It's it's a lot going on in that car. And you did, you know, you raised the stock for a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? This guy, he might, he might be very humble, but to this day, I still haven't made more at an event than Max out. I don't know what's going on with y'all. This is a year later. I don't know what's going on with y'all, but. Uh, yeah, I ain't paying Vada the way Vada deserves to be paid. No, they don't want to, man. It's That's hard crazy. out here. And, and, and fuck it. <laughs> you know what, if you're going to put that out there publicly, our models will just, just Say some more shit on that. Yeah. We didn't negotiate that. No, that's crazy. Didn't I didn't even ask you for a dime. How do you? I did not ask you for anything and get more. Than, okay, that's the yeah. truth. That's crazy. But you, SP, mm -hmm. Rose. Yeah, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a there's a bunch of people that got extras, and and I think it's dope to do that because you don't have to do a battle of the night bag. You don't have to do a matchup of the night bag. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do all this this extra money for people that's not asking for it, but I'm trying to show the appreciation. And then I, I'm a true believer of, of like if we generate it, I deserve mine. Mm -hmm. You might deserve yours, but let's spread it around. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, like if, if something hits, like let's 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 spread it around. Let's make sure everybody feels like they were part of it and they got taken care of as best as possible. Right, right, right. You know, so, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but when you have a moment like that, you can share in it, you know, like five, 10, 15 years from now, you'll say shit like you just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of, you know what I mean? Like all those tie-ins and that's, that's the dope legacy of Max Out 3. Right. So I'm glad it went the way it went. Um, so I'll, I'll talk about a battle and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dip back to Max Out 3, but I wanna talk about a battle that a lot of people have been talking about well, and I want to know your opinion on it, its release, and then it's eventually hitting a murder, million views. Murder Move vs. Big K, right? Okay. okay. I have heard, you know what I'm saying, I didn't speak to you about this, but I'm asking you about this now, uh, that you were not satisfied with the level of promotion by Murder Move on that battle. Is that true or false? That's true. That's true. That's true. Um, the expectation for the A side especially for a main event, mm -hmm. right? And, and that's not to detract anything from one of the GOATs, Big K, right? right? But Murder Mook is a, is a higher profile, or, you know, in battle rap than Big K, <laughs> yeah. right? Um, there's a couple of those guys, you know, they're gonna be looked at like that. The Murder Mooks, the Hitmans, the Cassidy's, the Loaded Luxes. Yeah. Top guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's just how it goes, right? And, um, you know, for those guys, you know, everybody knows they cost the most. Yeah. Right. So there's the business element of it. There's the um. There's also the element of like 
this ain't our first rodeo. Like, yeah. you know, we didn't been here washing one hand, wash the other multiple times, getting big bags together. You know what I'm saying? Showing each other new things that they haven't done before, business wise and battle rap and all that type of stuff. Right. So there, there's a couple elements there that just, if you're in my shoes, you're gonna have a little bit of a letdown. But you know, you, you go like this and you move on and then you follow up and max out three. Do you think it's because people feel like you lost? Say again? Do you think you didn't promote it because people feel like you lost? Oh no, no, so first of all, I'm not, I'm not worried about the promotion after the battle. Mm-hmm. Oh, so you talking about the promotion before the battle? Yeah, I thought that's what you was talking about. I'm talking about after the battle. So, after the battle, so, 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 so I'll, I'll say this: I don't, I don't, I don't hover over any battle rap before promotion after. Oh. Now you might, you might have some stipulations or some clauses or some requests. You know, it's just like yo, do do one interview after your battle or whatever. And the people that win they battles, they usually do. The you have no problem doing. I haven't seen people win battles and go on a whole tour. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you went on a tour. He was hosting clubs and shit. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. They got to walk through their strip club. This, 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 this is what I'm trying to say. So for for certain battles, um, you know, do you don't have to ask That's the battle to promote them. Because they're gonna do it. You know, like if you don't release Hitman versus Conceited in so much in so so much time. Hey man, gonna put on his flag. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he gonna keep this battle rap history for y'all. Right, 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 right. But, but, so that's nah. I don't hover over people for their post battle. And then on top of that, I do understand that there's a human element. Like, let's say somebody. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about move. Mm-hmm. Let's say somebody choked in their battle. Mm-hmm. Let's say somebody lost bad in their battle. They got thirty in their battle. Right. You, you think I'm, I'm gonna expect them to turn around and promote it? Heck Absolutely whatever. not. <laughs> Some people fucking try to get their battles vaulted that lose. They've been trying to get battles vaulted? Like, that. you just sat down with somebody that was complaining about their battle. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, it's your content. No, I, you I, just I, brought yes. this up. Yes, yes, yes. It's yes, your yes, content. Right, right, yes, right. I'm talking about an RBE, but you're right. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. using your shit to make the point for your own question about. about after. Right, or oh, after, like people won't, I got Yeah, you, I got so you. certain people want their battles out, some people don't. Certain, there's all types of factors there, so now I'm not, I don't hover over the before. What's the, so, you know what so you don't hover over the I before? Mean, I mean, over the after. after, over the after, yeah. Now before. No, not really, not what, really. What is the, I mean, you don't have to be specific about it, there are certain things that they should be required to do, like post a flyer and all that type of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, so so I'll say it like this, and it doesn't necessarily pertain not to this exactly battle, exactly to, to that battle. Yeah. Um, one thing that you should definitely do is the things that's in your contract. Mm. Like, if you don't at least do the things that's in your contract, then I definitely gotta look at you a different way. Mm. Because when all else fails, if, if it's like, I don't give a fuck about us as friends, I don't give a fuck about us as future business, I don't give a fuck about um, nothing. If, if, which, which is totally fine because those situations is business. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, yo, I'm here for my money, I'm, I'm gonna do my job and that's it. If that's what it is, mm-hmm. then you should at least do your job. Right, just right? if you're gonna do the bare minimum, do the bare minimum. And it, it doesn't even have to use the word minimum. Right, just it could just be the requirement. What, what's, do what's the requirement. What's in the agreement, yeah. yeah. So if you don't do that, that that's, that's, that's one thing. Mm-hmm. Then on top of that, you have an aspect of being a hustler. Like I always like a trip. Like somebody like Arsenal, right? Mm-hmm. In private, in public, I always give Arsenal credit as being arguably the top hustler mm. that I've ever worked with and I know know from battle rap. Mm. When I say hustler, I mean somebody that's gonna make sure he gets to it. Mm. Somebody that's gonna make sure that he negotiates. Mm. Somebody that's gonna make sure he follows up. Mm. Somebody that's gonna make sure that he deals in a way where that relationship carries forward as long as possible. Mm. Those are keys to success, and sometimes it's who you know. Mm. Like there's certain people in battle rap, they call me right now and say, yo, let me get a bag with you real quick, and it's done because of what we we built, what what you showed, and our relationship to trust, all that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So even if it's not part of the contract, you also got to have the hustler mentality. The expectation. Like, if I didn't make a million dollars with this person before, I'm I might be able to make a million dollars on tomorrow or yeah. next week or after that. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so even if I don't fuck with him, even if I don't fuck with the platform, even if I don't fuck with the matchup, even if whatever. Like, still find a way to get to because that. I'm a hustler. Right. So, like, why burn a bridge with a, a nigga that I know could go into his pocket mm-hmm. and give me some, not just some, Couple dollars, like really, could give me some money, money. 
what I'm saying? Like, like, I don't get it. It's not hustle, that's not hustling to me. And you're smart because, and, and I don't want to like really lament on this too much, but uh, I know there's been times where you've mended a lot of relationships. Yeah. Right? We'd be talking for three days if we said yeah. how many times you came and been an intermediate individual. And I can just say it on camera, you know, Big K, you know, I ain't, huh. if I saw him in traffic, we pass each other, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as far as his career, you can't have somebody that's in a position to cover you that's not gonna cover you because of whatever riff we had, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what the issue was. I, don't even, I still to this day don't even know what it was. But you were influential when you were brought, when I called you originally to come to television, you wanted to bring him. And I originally was like, oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yo, we gotta figure this out first. Yeah, so but you've other. done, and we're good, that's my man now, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? It'd be funny that you've done that, but what do you see as the vying tool to do that? Because I know you've done it a lot of times before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta have your own credibility and respect. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get, uh, I've been called as a neutral party for a lot of situations, and, and I, I pride myself on that because once again, if some of the biggest managers or battle rappers or whatever in battle rap can call me and say, hey, can you do me a favor? Can you get this other person on the phone? Or, yo, I wanna, when I ask you some advice for something or whatever that's going on and then I'll fuck around and take that and reach out to Vada and next thing you know these two guys are together or i fuck around and did, like I, I was dealing with some shit yesterday <laughs> I'll tell you off camera yeah so I mean like I said I, I literally would you know some of that just yesterday mm -hmm. like no bullshit and um now I kinda I, 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 I'm on it mm -hmm. that you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you could help help somebody and then right. sometimes that energy and that karma come back your way too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's just it's just part of it. Um, I, I, I had my fallouts. <laughs> you, you had you know so many but, of them, but we let that ride. You know, I, I definitely tried. I, I fixed a lot of my own issues with people mm -hmm. that I've had with people. And I've also been a neutral party to try to help a lot of shit going on. So, you know, this is karma that right. you try to build. That's all. So I want to spin back to Max Out 3. Uh, what was the decision to put it in a small room? A lot of, I know a lot of people, myself included, were like, yo, you're bugging, yo, you're bugging. Why you ain't at the Grand Music Hall? Why you ain't at, why you ain't at Webster Hall? Why you ain't, because we he see this card, and I think, at, how many how many times did you get that phone call, text, or message? It had to be easily 50, 100 times. You probably just guessed it. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's the people that got my contact. Right. The tweets and oh my ran, somebody ran to be able to like, like logs yeah. and random shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's a ton, but um, been here, done that. Mm -hmm. So once again, my memory worked just fine. Like the first time we got that wave of criticism was in 2018, not 2023. Mm. Right, it was in 2018 when we announced A Bird versus Murder Move, and we said we were going to be hosting in Club Drum. Ah, Drum. Yeah. And they killed us. Mm -hmm. They said, how dare, like Murder Move's been gone for almost five years, how dare Bring you? Bring it more room. Yeah. And we, I, I swear on everything, we said, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Even though the scale of this matchup is monumental, mm -hmm. like, why, why break the formula mm -hmm. of what we're doing mm -hmm. and how much we've added back into the battle rap culture of what this type of environment produces? Right. Why break that now that we have, to that point, the biggest matchup that we ever booked? Mm. So it's, it's an, I, 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 I stole this comment many, many times. Like, if you score a touchdown, act like you've been in the end zone before. Uh, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like, like don't, 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 don't book Murder Mook and Aver in 2018 and then all of a sudden, like, restructure and reformat your formula and your company and all that. Just to, yeah. No, we make Murder Mook, Aver, the fans, the car adapt to what we, we want. Uh, yeah, you see what I'm saying? So um, we've been there before, and one way that we just kind of complemented that uh, from a door standpoint, just the door, is that still to this day is the only general admission ticket for pre-sale I've ever seen for $125. Mm. I've never seen that before. And the line was? A hundred, $125 general admission pre-sale. Mm. Not you got to the door and it's like, yo, you want to get in at this point, yo, it's a pre-sale. You know what I'm saying? So we try to balance out as if like if that was a $50 ticket, mm -hmm. we charging more than double. So then that that place could have been almost double or triple in size and we could have got those tickets at 50 a pop 
but we kind of bring that money back from a business standpoint by, by just, by just charging. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, and then the stream is, does what it does. Would you ever release the whole stream? Yeah, I was just asking Abo about that yesterday. Please. So I'm trying to get the Max Out Three stream uploaded to the um, to the channel. Mm. But anyway, uh, but back to the um, to the thing about the small room. So fast forward, same thought process, same concept. Um, we get to Max Out Three, mega mega car. Uh, one of the best events, one of the best car constructions that we've seen ever mm -hmm. to me. And. Once again, why I break the food? We've been doing this blue room thing all year. Do you pick all the battles? Now, I got you been in the end zone before. Do you pick all the battles? I think I picked 99% of those battles. Do you debate with anyone or you just do what you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I've, I've gotten ideas at times from other people within RBE. Mm -hmm. um, there's been battles also that we picked up. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Arsenal and QB wasn't an original thought. Mm. It was hanging out there, it wasn't getting done, and then other shit came in, QB was like, I'm not, you gotta book this. And I was just like, say no more. Mm -hmm. And then um, another one is like, Hitman and Bill Collector, mm -hmm. right? That's not, I gotta assume that fans probably won't see that battle ever since the incident, right? Right. So, you know, it didn't happen all those years, and we came to the table and said, yo, we got this concept called closure. Mm -hmm. mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, math and serious finishing right. off that that somebody had to thought about possibly doing that before mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying so I'm not trying to say everything is an original thought right but I've been probably more known for going left and just like oh, we didn't ask for this but we didn't know that we wanted it right, right you know what right. I'm saying like I probably murder Morgan Big Head like yeah nobody knew about it yeah I probably been more known for that than I have been for just picking up things in more platform mode like oh this matchup y'all want to see okay we got y'all mm -hmm. I've been more known for the creativity and just going left than I have been for the other side right you know right right so. um when it comes to so and, and a lot of these matchups that you have created that are sometimes um Unco could be considered unconventional because yeah. people like to go star power, star power, star power all the time. Yeah, yeah. And you've created a lot of these matchups. When it comes to artists, what do you say when people say nobody can develop talent? So, I've said this probably for at least nine years out of my 10 year in the front run mm -hmm. of RBE. I said that a lot of people have a misconception of developing versus finding mm. it's a totally different thing i got you and then if you really 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 know battle rap mm -hmm. um you know that there's certain narratives and there's certain models and there's certain things that are pushed to the front that are really just to try to throw up other companies right I saw through all of this smoke. Mm -hmm. I, I, I stayed true to my own beliefs and our fan base and said, this is what I want to do. This is possibly what I want to book. This is what I want to try. And I did. Right. Right. And I think that it paid off kind of well. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure, for sure. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, so, and, 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 and I did it. Mm -hmm. um, developing talent though. So, like, I'm, I don't want to try to get all outside of battle rap in detail what it's like to you know be in a training camp mm -hmm. with a rookie and say no this is how you hit the pads or this, right, is, how right. you, this is how you come off the line or you know what i'm saying right, <laughs> like, yeah, right, like, yeah, yeah, like that's right. not what's happening with, 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 with the typical battle rapper i've only had one battle rap i've ever tried to help with how they rap i'll tell you i'll tell you about, more about that <laughs> oh, worker right so <laughs> no no and i'm not even a rapper so point point being is us as league owners and platform owners we're not there to develop your talent. We're there to more so develop your brand uh, and your fan base. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So I give all the credit in the world when a scout or a league owner, you know, sees somebody on Bloody Knuckles or Trap House or We Go Hard mm -hmm. or maybe even Lions Den or maybe maybe RBE, maybe right. URL, maybe King of the Dot, mm -hmm. um, maybe tr maybe Trank, whatever. When you see somebody for the first time or Maybe you've even seen them before, but maybe you feel like, oh, I like them more now because of what they've been doing over there. Uh, Either way, what league owners do more than anything is help somebody's status, stop, and profile raise. Mm. We're never there teaching them how to come off the line and hit the pads okay. or to put more arc in their shot. We're just trying to build. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So developing talent versus finding talent, 
I think we get more, more we sh even what we do as fielding and proxying and coordinating and owning and matchmaking and all that and timing and business and all that, mm -hmm. more of what we do, we probably would be more better suited to brag about finding people. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Right now, I got you. Okay. So, so you know, I, I know why some of that was pushed out there. And, um, you know, even when it comes to developing somebody's brand now, not their talent, their brand. Mm -hmm. You know, you can just simply do that by continuing to put somebody on cards. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'll, I'll see people that have gripes about that. Like, yo, like, ARP, like, I'm about to be here now and, and I'm not being booked by you anymore. And the stuff that you do is high profile. Mm -hmm. So they feel like that's a less... You lose in viewership, you lose in card promotion, right, right, right. you might lose in opponent level or whatever. That's what people feel like they might lose at times from like certain league owners or platform owners. Okay. So that's really what the development is for a league to do, is to take somebody that already has a talent, mm -hmm. right? see the talent, and try to guide them and get them as much promotion as possible. Mm -hmm. And because when you put them on stage, does a league owner know that this battle rap is about to figure this third round? No. You does a league owner know, know that this is. motherfucker didn't even right, write, no, write nothing? Does mm -hmm. a league owner know that, oh shit, this is trash, this is horrible with this <laughs> rapping? This is the worst shit I've ever seen. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's because that's not our job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So. How does it, uh, and then before I get back to this, I want to talk about Calico versus Goods, you know, and that's a really big battle, but uh, yeah. how does it feel like if you stand in front of a big battle that you know costs a lot, you know what I'm saying, everything could have made it happen, and the person chokes, like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's a shitty feeling, mm -hmm. it's a shitty feeling, but for me, there's always been a different way to interpret it, mm -hmm. did you choke because the moment, you just, it's just a moment, because I admit, like, let me be on the positive side of it. I can't do what them battle rappers do. Right. Like, I can't stand on that max out stage and in front of all of these people. And be. You know what I'm saying? Like, pe sometimes people choke because they wrote a bar in a way where they felt like the punchline was supposed to get crowd reaction. They did. And then the crickets throws them off. Sometimes, sometimes people choke because of their opponent. Mm. Their opponent's round makes them think too much of what I'm li nobody's prepping listening to their opponent. Right, no, they don't well, well then again yeah. then again there was a little yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. then again yeah. well not, the way it's supposed to be. Yeah it's, you're, you're not supposed, supposed to prep to <laughs> 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 you're oh, not supposed on. to listen to him. Yeah yeah so so that that is that is a variable that people can't be prepared for by the time the that the cameras is on. Right. The bright light factor the, the shock of just the, all of that is it's like you can throw someone off. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, somebody could scream in the crowd. Mm -hmm. All types of shit. Entourage could be heckling. Mm -hmm. All types of shit that could happen that could make somebody choke. I respect that because mm -hmm. I respect a lot of performance of material that you've never even performed before and that you have to sell to the crowd in the moment. Right. When I show up to Jay Z's concert, you know uh, before he. Re even raps a certain you know, line. When a beat drops, he got support because yeah. we know what song it is. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I, I never, I never beef at that. We could tell because we got trained eyes and ears in battle rap. Mm -hmm. And when this motherfucker told he played with my money, uh, that's different. Yeah. So yeah. Um. So back to Max out. You know, as the releases were happening, third or fourth release. Drop out Goods versus Calico. Like that could have been a fucking headline. How you drop how you drop that fourth? <laughs> I'm saying like when you start booking When you start booking, <laughs> when you start booking like I'm saying like what the hell? How you drop that fourth? Like that's the fourth joint? That's a that's a headline. You know, I mean, but like, like 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 we were saying, man, it was a tactical rollout. And um I give all the respect to anybody that feel like yo on so many cards that get released, that could be a main event. On this card, it could have been a co-main event or what right. like I got all respect for people that say that. Like right. that's one thing that I'd be having to navigate is like, you know, reminding battle is sometimes like when you get announced or where your face is on the fly isn't mm -hmm. necessarily how we feel about your matchup. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. <laughs> So, did you, did, was there any drawback from either MC when they knew that's what they was going to be released? You know what I'm saying? Because these are like top of the card guys. Nah, 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 nah. I, I mean, me and Goods probably joked over like some like little small back and forth, like on some joking shit. Mm -hmm. But Calico and Goods are so solidified. 
know what I'm saying? They're so confident in who they are, what they do. In their mind, they're like, it's time for us to show up and show the world why we think we're the main event. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so, it's like, nah, nah, that's, it's, it's, it's all 100 with, with guys like that. They, those guys is too... Consummate professionals. Yeah, they too, they too. This, this, this ain't new for them. Mm. So, you put on one of the biggest, you know, events ever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Max Out 3 happens. Everything happens within the event. You know, we're hearing great reviews, commentaries going well. Everything's happening the way it's supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? I, I returned with the leather shorts. Everything was everything was a thing. You know what I mean? I told somebody about that. They asked me about that one day. I said, you'll never forget it. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of how you remember it, you won't forget it. You know what I mean? So um, I say that to say this. How do you conceptualize that, like, the day after, the week after, like, the reviews? I, I would say this. Ever, and I haven't been part of or to an event before like that or after like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's been where that, everything from, like, the beginning to the end to all our conversation after was like, yo, we might not get this again. So how do you... How do you, like, how was that, like, the reception, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't yeah. see it when you're there. You see it afterwards. You know yeah, I mean? but believe it or not, the day after, 24 hours after an event like that, you don't get to fully, in my shoes, you don't get to fully enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You literally still work. Like, league owners know there's still a lot of work that's happening even after the event. You're still squaring away certain business. You got things going on. The VOD is now the, the priority, all this type of stuff. Um got people hitting you up for all these different reasons it's, it's a lot it's a lot still going on so you know your business or, or all the things that you're a part of isn't complete yet mm -hmm. you know but um when you do get a chance to really start to take it in as far as like what just happened 24 hours ago or 48 hours ago or last week or whatever you know i was telling myself i think um I think the age factor, the aging factor of this car is going to be great. Because mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a long time or a while before you get a car construction with that amount of detail. Mm -hmm. You get a car that goes 11 for 11, yeah, as for what the fans man, say. You get a <laughs> car with all that nostalgia built in. Mm -hmm. You get certain people on the same card ever again. Mm -hmm. um, you get, you get, you get, um, you get, you, you just get that type of construction, that type of event, that even the stream from like you guys, yeah. and then the extra bags and the judging at the end of the night, and mm -hmm. all the bells and whistles, a surprise that all of this. Mm -hmm. I was just, you know, looked at it like, y'all, I feel like if you don't realize right now that this is one of the best events ever, as time passes and things don't even come close to that, it'll age that much better. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, and I'm right. not just here, you know, wishing that nothing touches Max. Right, right. right. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like... I know, I, I do, but I mean... <laughs> I mean, for me, for me, the reason why I feel like I don't have to is because I'm so confident and secure of our best and our biggest event mm -hmm. for RVE. I'm just like, yo, if that is RVE's biggest, best, and, and my last pay-per-view, me, nobody can tell me how I feel. I'm telling myself, and I can tell the world, I'm so happy with that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So... Did you know it was over before that? I was pretty much knowing that 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 probably was gonna be my last, you know, because like I said, you don't you can't go cold turkey when you got so much passion, so much time, so much money, so much effort, so much sleepless days and nights and all this, you know. It's like even though somebody like myself could might maybe do five events a year, mm -hmm. right? You still have to run this shit 365, right? You know what I'm saying? Like people cut on that stream and they see something that's condensed down to a seven hour show. Mm -hmm. I've been working for two months behind the scenes. To make that happen. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, you know, you gotta do that shit, <clears throat> even the shit that's not directly associated with an event. Mm -hmm. You know, you got problems, you got this, you got that, you got you got helping people, you got this going on, somebody can bail this person, this is the jail or problems or this beef or problem blog or somebody told you she addressed this for them for yeah, that yeah, yeah. it's, right, it's 365 right, it's 365 you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so um that's great man uh, i want to um i want to pivot you know what i'm saying I, I pretty much encapsulated what i thought of your opinions were on some of the greatest 
well, to me, one of the best events ever, you know what I'm saying? Okay. It was Max I'm gonna release all of that. But you know, you've been doing like, you know, <laughs> you've been doing blogging, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been met, you know, with good reception, you know what I'm saying? I've seen you transition over it. Is this something that you always wanted to do? Or is it just like you woke up one day and was like, yo, this is the thing for me now? I think, I'm not gonna say I always wanted to do it. I'm gonna say instead it was something that was always did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, um, like you know, mm -hmm. I was a blogger before I was a platform owner. Before I was. <laughs> That's yeah, right, right. So I, I was a blogger then. So I always enjoyed, you know, just, just talking my talk, my opinions, and, and connecting with a fan base that rocked with me. Mm -hmm. So I always enjoyed that, even before booking, you know what I'm saying? Before Battle Rap Media, before RBE, for those that know their history, I was blogging. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, and then when it comes to the Sorry is True podcast, I brought that back last year. You know what I'm saying? That's when I did the, the whole uh, the series and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I brought it back then. It's just that I fell off of it. Mm. Right? And even though I started it then, I put the brand, I put the name on it. I got onto topics and, and content that was outside of battle rap and all yeah, that. Yeah, you stood in the beginning, but then you, yeah, I got yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I was doing it last year. And then, you know, with the whole officially, I, this is what ARP is on post Max Out 3, mm. that made it that much more like, I. Right, not only are you, a, you like blogging, not only was you a blogger before you was a platform owner, not only did you already start the start of the podcast, that all just comes together to just, for me personally, line up and say, all right, now let's, let's pick it back up and let's not put it back down. Mm. And you know what I'm saying? So that's really what that was about. Mm. Yeah, 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 because you know, you got, you all have fans that's like, I want to see battles. Like, what do you yeah. say to that? You know what I mean? No, I, first of all, you don't understand how humbling that that's supposed to be. My interpretations sometimes are different than people. Mm -hmm. Like, there's going to be people in this culture that retire, mm -hmm. and nobody's going to give a shit. There's going to be people that retire, and nobody's going to complain. They're never going to ask about them. Yeah. Yeah. Like to to have people mad at you because you're yeah. Actually, is an honor. Mm. Like that's how I could. I really like. Damn. Like that's crazy. Like. Cause they do be mad. That's why I'm here. <laughs> no. That, that's, that, that's like like. Right. I, I need to be humble enough to be like, yo, that's that's a fucking honor to a degree. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like like. Kinda like we want to see Barry Sanders play again. Yo, because RBE, early, per se. Yeah, because RBE is part of my own personal life legacy. Mm -hmm. And to know that I did a good enough job for people to be mad at me when I when I retire, wow. which is well within my rights after giving so much blood, sweat, and tears, all pun intended, uh -huh. to a culture 10 years of my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm kind of honored for that. So, and I also already am smart enough to know that there's gonna be that transitional period. Mm -hmm. You know, there's gonna be people that are just like, fuck anything you're doing other than giving I'm me- I wanna see Max out for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that there's that transitional period. You also got people that, um, that they don't believe mm -hmm. that he's retired. They mm -hmm. don't, they don't, they, they don't believe um, that you could have a year like that and, 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 and gracefully bow out. That's crazy. I was like, I was part of you it. Know, I'm like, I'm aware of it. You know, you, know, you, know, you know how many different um, reasons I've heard of why ARP retired? I've heard a lot. Be because people can't fathom it. Yo, and here's another thing too. I don't think that people are used to seeing people leave on their own terms. They're used to seeing people get pushed the fuck out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that I could say that on everything I love. Everybody that I call family and my bloodline is shared with. I could put it on all of them. Let God strike me dead. Nobody stopped me from doing RBE as a league owner except for me. So I've heard a million rumors. I've heard rumors. I just, I just, I've, heard, I've, I've heard it all. I've heard, I've heard it all. But that, once again, to me is a testament to like, yo, people can't just process like, but I don't get it. Like, oh, no, I want it. But it makes no sense. Yeah. It makes no sense to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Once again, to me, that's even an honor. Right. Because it made no sense to me that I was doing the same talk. Like, yo, what are you doing? What do you mean? Because, what, 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 because once, once again, it's, 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 like, it's like built into what we see so much of people not leaving on their own terms. I'm not good anymore. I didn't get no team pick me up. Yeah, just, you know how many times we, we be watching the league and be like, oh, shit, he's doing it. I didn't know he was out the league. Nobody mm -hmm. picked him back up. They just fall right out the league. 
Yeah, you don't you don't be knowing. I didn't know about Nick. Young. Like I didn't be knowing certain people was out the league. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like 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 literally. You know what I'm wow. saying? So so for people to even feel that way is is an honor. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I'll say this on camera. I said it to you off camera, but I'll say this to you on camera, and I just hope people interpret it from a humble standpoint, mm -hmm. which is the last seven thousand subscribers that subscribe to the RBE channel have been from my podcast videos. Mm, 7,000 is not easy to get. I don't get and, what you are. No, no, so, so I, I saw like a study. I don't want to fuck up the numbers, but I'm going to just make some shit up because it was some wild shit. Like there's like, like 5% of like YouTube channels cross like 5,000 subscribers. Yeah, yeah, it's very rare. And it's like a billion channels, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're super, we're super blessed. Yeah, like somewhere. like we must have really, really been doing something right. So even seven within a lot of channels don't even never get monetized. Yeah, they never get monetized. At you all. know what I'm saying? So to see that you're dealing with the same guy that lives inside and outside of battle rap with the mentality of brick by brick. Mm. So I'm here for like, yo, maybe in the next year I get another seven thousand from podcasting. Mm -hmm. Maybe five years from now I'll have thirty thousand subscribers from podcasting, and I'm cool with that because I'm doing something that I enjoy. What's less drama, battle rap or? Did you ask that? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a single call from anybody I've ever podcasted no. outside of that. Yeah, we all need to get the hell out of here, man. Oh, Damn, man. you ain't got the you don't Yo, you know, you know, you know, you know, like me and shout out to my shout out to my nigga Holla. Me and Holla, we, we we joke about this shit all the time on the phone. We say when we be walking around the crib and, and like him, for like him, shout out to Sin, like, you know, anytime people hear us walking around the crib screaming, it's because of that. <laughs> it's cause of, it's cause of battle rap. It's cause of battle like, rap. Like I can't remember the last time I got real pissed off or possibly wanted to do something or like any of that type of shit or vibes or energy it's outside of battle, battle rap. rap yeah. it's, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and weird. um you know like so that's like that's not even a question of like what's less drama like <laughs> and then you're not the guy that really needs see some people need to do what they do you do it because you love to do it you know? that's that's what always push you in a spot to make what you feel and you could be wrong mm -hmm. but what you feel like good decisions right right like there's a lot this is just business one-on-one -on -one. there's a lot of decisions that are made that are 100 percent business propelled mm -hmm. Or competitive propelled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people that are literally will sign contracts, do deals, spend certain amounts, give money away at times mm -hmm. out of competition or just out of business moments. Mm -hmm. Right? To be able to say, like, yo, even if I wait for the next five months or whatever, my bills still getting paid because I don't do this. Like, I, I could just wait this, I could do this, I could do that. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And I think it's the option, I have an optionality where you can choose, like some people, they have to talk about this because if they don't get that check, this is going to happen, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah, 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 like, like, I'm not trying to, this ain't no shot, right. but I'm not super duper duper impressed by somebody that says that they do something and it's, it's for life, but that's all you can do, mm -hmm. or that's all, you know what I'm saying? And, and with all due respect, maybe that's all you want to do, and that's totally fine too, right. but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just as impressed. I'm not trying to take no shots at nobody. I'm just as impressed with the person that put in the blood, sweat, and tears into that shit and didn't have to. Mm. I'm just as impressed with that person. Mm. But, but, you know, I just hope that people have these open perspectives. Right. So, so you know, uh, you didn't you touch bases on a lot of different subjects. You know, you spoke about brick process, you spoke about your transition. Can I talk about the brick process? Well, we can. I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. You know, I mean, we can. I mean, but, uh, you know, you <laughs> talked about, uh, you know, you, we talked about uh, Max out in depth. Uh, you know, you talked about your transition, retirement, and everything that you got going on. But uh, is there any fighting? Is there any misconceptions, anything you know you want to speak about before you're done, you know what I mean? Like, because this, this might not happen again for people, you know what I mean? No, no, I, I appreciate that. And, um, you know, obviously because I'm not doing events and all that and, you know, I'm where I'm at, there's even less reason for people to possibly want to interview me. Mm. I think years from now, people that will ask to interview me, it'll either be because of the podcast side mm. or it'll be the nostalgia of the battle rap side, one or the other. Mm. 
But it's like people don't need to run to me with a camera because I got something to promote next. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because I'm out of that that arena. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get it, and I'm totally humbled by that. It's all good. Mm -hmm. But I will still do uh, interviews here and there, whatever, because the same way I got into battle rap is how I exit. It was mm -hmm. off of passion. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, yeah, I got you. So even though I'm in a, a different space over here. Mm -hmm. I know Vada's not pulling up, or I'm not pulling up on Vada and we're going to sit here and talk about old little Bronny getting picked up by the Lakers. No. I we're going to talk about Battle Rap. That's what they want to hear. But yeah. I'm still down for that, even though I'm not here Part to stop. I'm because, because Battle Rap will forever be tied to my legacy. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm totally fine with that. You know what I mean? But um, but I do want to know what you think about Bronny getting picked up since we're here. You know what I'm saying? What you think? I know we get into that. You know what I'm saying? What you think about it? We we get, get, I do want to know what you think about that. I'll, 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 since I'll, you're I'll, here. I'll drop that separately for you. You can you drop that as a whole different thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? What you think? I got that. But, um, nah, like battle rap, I will always touch back on battle rap topics that I enjoy talking about or that I want to talk about. Mm -hmm. They could be something that I'm supporting. I could be doing a recap. I could be doing a, a promotional vid. I could be bringing people up to do anything, whatever. So I'm still here to support and I'm still here to talk about the things that I want to talk about when it comes to battle rap. Do you still watch them? I'm very selective with what I watch. Who's the last battle you watch? Uh, I don't know if it was easy in clips. Mm. Um, full battle that, that I watched, it might have been easy in clips. You didn't see Lux and Nitty? I'm sorry, it was Lux and Nitty. I saw, I saw oh, Lux and Nitty. I was like, come on, you had to see that. I was so, y'all better turn it, it on. Was, <laughs> it, was, it was perfect timing too, because I was in the um, I was I was in, I was in the terminal, you know, I was sitting around the terminal. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah you just did it. it was, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just did it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. now it was it was perfect timing. So now I got a chance to see that. I thought that that was an incredible battle. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah. So I'm still I'm still here for battle rap, and um, I'm still the owner of Urban Entertainment. Which means that anything within very entertainment that's happening, You're gonna hear I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be supportive of it. You don't know if I decide to try to you know put a one off on a Lawrence and Wayne card. That'd be fire. You know, full circle is here for us to you know have fun with. We got full circle coming up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? There's already some some dope matches locked into that. Um, yeah, and on the Sorry Shoot podcast side, I, I appreciate everybody from the battle rap side mm -hmm. that rocks with me over there, and I do appreciate the new people. You know, certain people found me in the Drake and the Kendrick. Hey, I see those comments. I post some of that shit on my gram, like, yo, I found you from this or whatever. I post on my gram. Some people just like, yo, ARP became my new favorite podcast. I post, like, I'm not making it up, I posted it. It's on my gram right now. So it's just like, when I see stuff like that, it's inspiring that, you know, Brick by brick is who I am. I was gonna ask, is that motivation? One hundred percent. When I when I when I when I when I go on my gram, I mean when I when I log into some of my comments mm -hmm. and I see um and I see people say stuff like that, like um like this one for example that says ARP became my, my new favorite podcaster after these last thirty days. Sorry it's true. That's crazy. I can't make that up. You can't show it to you. you know what what yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. when I see stuff like that or when I see um Oh, uh, this right here. I like retired ARP more. Cheers. Appears peaceful already. Cheers. Cheers, Crody. That's fine. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? That could be somebody from Toronto that's saying Crody or something. Right. I mean, like, like, so, once again, I'm brick by brick. Mm -hmm. That's my lifestyle mentality. So, um, I, I, I do appreciate the people that are from Battle Rap that are rocking with me over there. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the new people on the channel that found me outside of Battle Rap. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm looking forward to bumping into people in the street and then being like, yo, sorry, shoot podcast instead of RBE. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, look I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that, you know, brick by brick, brick by brick. When I can find, I'm sooner or later, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I'm used to meeting people in the street from RBE. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, somebody I'm like, yo, ARP, I'm like, yo, what's good? I'm going to shake their hand Thank and they're going to, and I'm like, oh shit, like you don't know battle rap? And they're like, battle rap. Nah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking forward to growing all of that. So being a part of Battle Rap still in the capacity that I enjoy, mm -hmm. supporting everything that's happening within RBE still, doing my own little thing like Full Circles, podcasting. You know, I just hope everybody continue to rock, you know, that support me. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what we on. 
Hey man, you said it all, man. What, what more could I say? You know what I'm saying? You you could turn into like the greatest, like you'd be the best interviewer, the best blogger. You said what more can I say? You'd be the best interviewee <laughs> too. No, so. no, no, you're a rapper. You said what more What can more I can I say? You know what I mean? Like what more can you say? You no, say. I'm talking about the relevance of you saying that in the topic and the actual song and yeah. how he even ends the song. That's Jay. crazy. Jay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm saying? That that's just that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Rick. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire.